Let's tell the world all the things we've done. Falling in love in the setting sun. I've got a song and a smile so bright. I'll make you wish you were here tonight. If there be any truer measure of a man than by what he does, it must be by what he gives. John Rudolph was born in 1924 to John and Verna, hard-working dairy farmers in Walbridge, Ohio. John, a popular student at Lake High School, starred on the varsity basketball team. He then went on to play at Bowling Green University. After completing his first year of college, he enlisted in the war effort, shipping out to fight for his country. John rose to the rank of tech sergeant, commanding the operation of a howitzer gun unit while stationed in Germany. A proud veteran, John always felt that his contribution in World War II was a key ingredient that helped shape the leader he would become. After the war ended, he returned to Bowling Green University to study business management. While in school, John met and fell in love with a fellow student named Mary Miller. After graduation, they were married and settled in Mary's hometown of Lima, Ohio, which became their lifelong home. While Mary tended to their young family, John began his career as a salesman for the Wherever Company, selling cookware and Cutco knives door to door. It is here that his true talent and passion as a salesman were able to flourish. It was no secret that the work ethic he learned at an early age on his family's farm proved to be the key to his early business success. As their family grew, so did his accolades in the business world. Through another member of St. Luke's Lutheran Church, John became a sales manager with the Fisher Cheese Company. His continued leadership and sales success fueled the dream of owning his own company. In 1955, John decided to take control of his own destiny, founding his own company, Rudolph Foods, selling specialty nuts as well as pork rinds. For two years, the company flourished under John's guidance. However, in 1957, the meat industry was in flux. The smoked pork skin pellets utilized in the mainstay of their product line all but disappeared. Tirelessly, John and Mary worked on a new process to overcome the industry's changing methods. As a result of their hard work, a proprietary pork rind recipe was successfully developed, a recipe still used today. A true testament to his revolutionary tilt to the snack food industry came in 1984 when he was elected chairman of the Snack Food Association, the first non-potato chip manufacturer honored. With business success well at hand, John turned his focus on making a difference in his community. Always eager to give back to Northwest Ohio, John was generous with his time and expertise. He was known as Lima's can-do man. The city benefited from his attentive leadership. John served as the president of the Lima Rotary Club, the Chamber of Commerce, and the YMCA Board of Directors. He also served as a board member for the Lima Memorial Hospital and served as chairman of one of the most successful United Way campaigns in Allen County. Mr. Rudolph was the engine that drove the city's major development projects. He helped spearhead the Lima Streetscape project in the 1970s the Veterans Memorial Civic Center in the 1980s, and a new downtown YMCA in the 1990s. His most recent projects included the Ottawa River Bike Path Extension and the restoration of the Schnorf Wagner Building, an 1880s historic landmark. Today, sons Rich and Jim tend to their father's legacy with pride and admiration. With a true spirit of family values and hard work, they continue to dramatically expand the business that was established by their well-regarded father. 
Rudolph Foods, with seven facilities in the United States and three international facilities, employ more than 400 employees, all dedicated to producing the finest foods throughout the world. With the can-do spirit of Mr. Rudolph, this snack food giant has launched into new areas of the snack food industry, while maintaining its presence as the nation's leading producer of pork rinds and one of the nation's largest snack food companies.